Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater Soundcheck. This time out, a modular audio interface and converter solution for Mac and PC from Lynx. Let's get started. Today we're checking out the Lynx Aurora N modular converter and audio interface system. Now there are many different ways you can configure the Aurora N, and we're going to take a look at five of those different possibilities later in this video. But all of this circles around a central chassis, which is basically the single rack unit here. The chassis provides the host for cards that go into the back of the unit, and that gives you your different I.O. options, whether digital, analog, or interfacing with your computer. The Aurora N supports up to 32 inputs and 32 outputs at up to 192 kilohertz sample rate, 24-bit resolution. Everything in the Aurora N has been designed for maximum audio transparency and quality. For example, each pair of channels inside the Aurora N has its own dedicated converter chip. This maximizes dynamic range and minimizes crosstalk and separation between the channels. We also have onboard reference clocking, and that's accessible with a one-in, three-out card on the back. And we have a pair of reference quality headphone outputs. Now, these are mastering grade headphone outs, and each one has their own independent volume control. We have outstanding metering on the front panel, and we also have an app that runs on your Mac or PC that gives you 32 channel mixing and control over all of the routing inside the box. This also allows for near latency free recording. One of the standout features on the Aurora N is the micro SD card on the front panel, which allows you to record up to 32 channels in the background basically. So you can use this as a confidence recorder while you're working with your DAW. Even if your computer crashes, it will continue recording. You can use it for audio playback with 32 channels. You can route those to multiple outputs on the back panel and service a wide range of different sources. You can also use this for playback in live situations or for live recording. It's super stable, and with a large micro SD card, you can have hours and hours of recording time, so you can basically start this recording and just let it go in the background. When you're finished, you can drag all the broadcast WAV files that result into your computer and mix them using your DAW. All this is wrapped up inside a very rugged enclosure with road-ready rack ears, so this makes a great solution for live recording and for playback in live situations. But the fun really starts when we make our way around to the back panel. We have slots in the back panel that allow us to install modules, and this lets us custom configure the inputs and outputs however we like. Let's take a look at five possibilities. The Aurora N chassis supports three different cards, and this allows us many different configurations of analog and digital I.O., as well as computer interfacing and Dante connections. Now we can have systems that support 8, 16, 24, or 32 channels in and out. Let's begin with a fairly basic system. In this case, we have eight line inputs and eight line outputs on D sub connectors. In the center, we have our word clock card. This gives us one word clock in and three word clocks out for driving external devices. Finally, we have our computer interfacing card, which in this case gives us USB 2.0 connectivity to Mac and PC. Now, USB 2.0 in the Aurora N supports up to 16 channels in and out. For more channels than that, we'll need to use Thunderbolt, Pro Tools, or Dante. In this configuration, we have an 8-in, 8-out analog audio interface that would connect directly up to your Mac or PC. Great for straight-ahead recording situations, and for mixdown where you're using 8-channel summing. Our second configuration gives us a bit more flexibility for studio recording. In this case, we have 8 line inputs and 8 line outputs on D-sub connectors. But we've added 4 channels of microphone preamp and high z input. Now, with all of Link's products, the focus is always on transparency. So as you'd expect, these microphone preamps are also extremely transparent, very dynamic. They're going to be great for making very clean recordings. And of course, you can change the timbre of those using plugins later if you like. Rounding out this configuration again is our computer connectivity card, which in this case combines USB 2.0 along with word clock in and out. This configuration will work well in the studio, where you don't need more than four microphones simultaneously, or you're using some external microphone preamps into those line inputs. You still have eight outputs for feeding your monitors or for summing. For our third configuration, we've expanded our microphone and high z recording possibilities. We have two four-channel cards, which support up to eight microphones simultaneously, or eight high z sources, or any combination of those two. On our final card, we not only have Thunderbolt connectivity, word clock I.O., but also 8-line in and 8-line out on D-sub connectors. This is a very versatile configuration that allows you to record, for example, a drum set or a small band simultaneously, in addition to those line-level inputs and outputs, and we can do it all over Thunderbolt. Our next configuration is very versatile. We have 24 analog line inputs and line outputs on D-subs here on the first card and the bottom of the second card. We also have our word clock distribution here with one word clock in, three word clock out. In addition, we've added eight channels of digital I.O. on AES-EBU format on a D-sub connector. 
So we can hook this up to a digital mixer or digital effects processors and access all of those things digitally along with our analog I.O. For connectivity, we can plug straight into Pro Tools HD. This would make a very versatile centerpiece for a Pro Tools-centric studio. Our final example configuration today gives us 32 channels of input and output on analog D-subs. We also have our word clock input and three outputs, but in this case, we have Dante connectivity. This makes this an ideal box for live recording, it'll work well as a stage box in a live situation, and also allows the Aurora end with this configuration to serve as a 32 input, 32 output standalone digital converter. Again, a very versatile configuration for those using Dante. As you've seen with these five different examples, there's a wide range of different ways we can configure this, with 8, 16, 24, or 32 channels, combinations of digital and analog I.O., different interfacing options, lots of word clock options. It really is an ultra-versatile chassis that will allow you to configure the Aurora N exactly the way you need it for your applications. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Aurora N modular system from Lynx. Whether you need a ton of analog I.O., digital I.O., whether you're interfacing with a computer or working via Dante or directly into Pro Tools, it's a solution that gives you great audio transparency and supports a wide range of routing and recording possibilities. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater Soundcheck. I'm Mitch Gallagher.